The little resort and railroad town of Keddie in remote Plumas, Plumas, is 36 year old Glenna Sharp, her 16 year old son John, his 17 year old friend Dana Wingate. They had been knifed and oh, hammered to death. November 19th, when we moved into Keddie in a small cabin, which was number 20, which was number 20. The scene was horrible beyond belief as Sheila Sharp looked through the window of her mother's house. All had been tortured and visited. The bodies remained bound and gagged. Dead were 36-year-old Glenna Sharp, the mother of five. Her son, 15-year-old John Sharp, a student at Quincy High School. His friend from school, 17-year-old... changed the Dana face of, of Plumas County because nothing had ever happened. Going through the door, you could smell... You could smell the blood. And uh, as you looked around, there were pools of blood. There was... Uh, the couch cushions Another were Northern California uh, crime made headlines for years. In 1981, four Plumas County residents were in this cabin murdered. were a young mother, Glenda Sue Sharp, her 15-year-old son John, and a neighbor, 17-year-old Dana Wingate. I reported then that the investigators were horrified by the carnage in the cabin. Using a butcher and steak knife and a claw hammer, the assailant or assailants murdered the three. But there was more. Glenna's daughter, Tina, was After also the murder, missing. this cabin was sealed up tight. People began to depart the resort. Decay moved in. And then the rumors started. There was a ghost in number 28. Those who opened the door were greeted with gruesome images and sounds that drove them away. Josh Hancock is a document maker who convinced the families to cooperate to get their story on national TV. Hancock interviewed me for the documentary, then I, him. I have hope that it will be solved one day. Uh, it's hard 22 years later to think that it would be, but um, it's happening. You know, we turn, on, we turn on the news all the time and we see crimes being solved today that uh, took place a long time ago. Relatives of the victims have also agreed now to come forward. After seeing other things on the news, you know, after even older than this, they've been solved, so I know this one can be solved. And we just have to stick to it and have somebody, you know, on our side do it. Three years after the bloodshed in this cabin, the body of kidnapped Tina Sharp was found near Oroville. From that evidence and what was collected in Keddie, investigators believe they can now make a DNA profile. Then perhaps they can match it with other criminals solving this long-running mystery. That would put a lot of Plumas County residents at ease.